Hello, this is Sirat Ali. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate to you how you can download environment-related data for energy farms. Energy farms are under the huge pressure because of the global warming. A transition from fossil fuels towards renewable energy is believed to be a solution to curtail the carbon emissions, which are the primary cause for the global warming we are seeing in our uh, in our planet. I thought, why not I record a short tutorial where I can demonstrate how you can obtain uh, a data for your research about the energy farms operating all over the world. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is to go to the Screener app. Just write Screener here. The first option, Screener app, will appear. Just click on that. So now you are on the Screener app. On the left-hand side, there are filters. Uh, we are seeing the public companies, the currency is USD, and other universe options are available and quick filters. So in the universe, uh, go to the indices list portfolio screen stocks, click on edit here, then click on these three dots, maximize the screen, click on all indices, and here, uh, I want the Refinitiv ESG constituent list. Just write that and click search. So now various options are coming. So I'm going to just sort out the securities where more securities appear on the top. The so Refinitiv Global. So this is the index that I'm interested in. I'm going to select this. It has 11,382 securities. I'm going to click OK at the bottom right. And the Refinitiv Global Index is selected. You can see here. So this is basically a list. Click OK. Now you will see the uh, the result will appear in this screen. So with the identifier and the company name. Again, you know, with the screener, you can't obtain more than 5,000 uh, forms or 5,000 rows. So here we had uh, plus 11,000 uh, forms in the Refinitiv Global. And you know, we are interested in only the environment related data for energy farms. So energy sector, we need only the energy sector. Refinitiv Global includes all the sectors. So we are going to add a filter here. So industry filter, uh, gigs industry name, add. So we are only going to include energy sector. So if you if you just click on this short arrow, you see within energy, there are sub uh, sectors as well. So I'm going to uh, just rely on the overall energy, which includes all the sub sectors. Click done. Now you see the energy sector forms uh, around the globe will be appearing uh, in this screen. So once uh, the, you get the list of energy farms around the world, you may want to add a column which shows from which country these forms are because we are playing with the global data. So for that, in, in the add column, just write country of exchange. The first option, country of exchange, click on that. So now you will see in which uh, country exchange the form is listed. Uh, that will be highlighted here. And as always, I recommend uh, add a ticker. Uh, add, add a identifier, the Eisen code. So click on that, the Eisen codes are also added. So how many total forms uh, in the Refinitiv uh, global list uh, from energy sector? There are 430 forms. If you want to see from which countries they are, you can, uh, how many how many forms are from which country, you can click on this group and group them based on the country of exchange. Click OK. And you will see here the group uh, details will be uh, available for each country. You can see here the result. Um, you can rank them. Just click on this column. So you can also sort them by, by the alphabets. So you can see uh, like for each country how many forms are coming. Okay. So let's go back and uh, delete this grouping. Click OK. So now we come back to the uh, main screen. Okay, so we want the environment related data. Uh, let's stick to only one year, one financial year. Uh, for the simplicity, let's pick 2021 as a financial year. Uh, we need the environment related data for these forms. 
So for, for this, you need to launch the data item library. Click on these three dots. You see the dialog box. So in that dialog box, if you look at the left-hand side data item library, I'm going to environmental, social, and governance. There are 286 environment-related uh, data points available, which you can uh, download for these energy firms. I'm not going into those specific indicators. What I'm going to do is within ESG analytics, Refinitiv ESG scores and grades, I'm going to use the ESG score overall for 2021. I'm going to add this. Okay, so next I want to add pillars and, and, and grades. Here, there are six data types available. So I want the environmental pillar score only for 2021. Click on add. Then I want the, want the environmental categories, the subcategories under the environmental pillar. So here, category score. So I know this resource use, emission score, and environmental innovation score. These three are the environmental uh, subcategories. I don't want the grades. I want the scores. And grade is the basically the rating A, B, C, uh, the different uh, alphabets, the refinitive use. I am going to scroll down. This is the resource use. I need that for 2021. I'm going to add emission score. Yeah, that's another category. We need it for 2021. Going to add it. Environmental innovation. So that's the third category, 2021. I'm going to add this. Whereas others, I'm just going to leave it for the time being. Okay. So now we have the overall ESG score environmental pillar score and three subcategories of the environment. Going to click OK. And here you can see the uh, result will be appearing. We have got the results, the ESG score, the environmental pillar score, resource use, emission score, environmental innovation score for 2021. You can see the financial year 2021 is written. Okay. There are a lot of uh, MAs, it means not available. So that's fine. Uh, it often happens the ESC data is not available for all firms. But you can, let's say, click on this and see uh, what how many missing observations. So at the bottom, you see now the NAs are appearing. Okay, okay so this is what we have got for energy firms. Uh, if you want to add specific uh, environmental related data types. You can go back to the library again and search for the data you are interested in. See if it is available. Read the definitions and add it to your uh, to your uh, columns here. Okay. Let's say you you change your mind. Uh, you want to expand your research from energy sector. Uh, to the material sector as well. So you want to include both energy and material sector because material sector include mining firms, which are also uh, considered to be uh, harmful for the environment. Okay, so if you want to do that, just go on the filters that you have added, uh, Geek's industry name, click on this edit. And here you can just take the material sector as well. And you can see what it includes. It has chemicals, construction, uh, metal and mining, etc. Okay. Let's say if you don't want all the material sector, uh, you can simply come under that and pick metal and mining. Uh, click OK and click Done. So now you will see in our result, we will have the energy firms and we will have the metal and mining firms and their ESG score, environmental pillar score, and three subcategories, which includes resource use, emission score, environmental innovation score. So this is what we have got. You can see now we have some metal and mining forms as well. Now let's say you want to save the screen and the template. You can click on these uh, icons here. So you can save the screen. Let's say uh, energy, energy and mining, uh, ESG, just write ESG, save. So now whenever you come to the screener app, you can come and select the uh, screen that is saved here. Okay, so you can manage this screen, you can delete, edit, you can create your own screen so that later on you don't need to add here Refinitiv Global, these screens, you can simply launch the energy mining ESG screen and it will automatically uh, create the things. Okay, And then on the right hand side, the, the result in the middle, you see you also want to store that. So see the icon here, uh, unsave template. So you can click on save and say uh, key 
variables ESG, E, and some categories, something like that. Okay. So whatever is convenient, click on save. So now within uh, within this energy and mining ESG screen, uh, you have got this. Um, uh, you have got these key variables, ESG, E subcategories. If you want to create a new template within the uh, uh, within the uh, energy and mining ESG screen, so you can create a new template. Let's say uh, something like that. Click here, ESG, um, ESG score. I just want to demonstrate how it works. Click on OK. So now the FY0 ESG score will be added. Um, once it is added, you can save it as, let's say, ESG, simply ESG, save. So now you will see there, there are two templates you have saved. One is the ESG, and second is the key variable ESG, E, and subcategories. Okay, so in this way, you can save your uh, your efforts, the, the steps you have taken. You can save the screens, and you can save the templates. So within one screen, you can have multiple templates. So it's good for researchers who want to download bulk data. So create your screens and templates and then bulk download the data. Okay, so if you want to download the data, uh, let's go back to the key variables, ESG, E, and subcategories and use this Excel uh, tab here on the top top right. And once the data is available in the, in the screen, uh, you can click on that and the data will be exported to the Excel. So here you are. So click on Excel, so export as values. Here is the data exported in Excel. We have the identifiers, some key company uh, data points, and then we have the ESG, uh, in the environmental pillar and subcategories for 2021. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed the step-by-step -step guide of downloading environment-related data for energy farms, as well as for metal and mining farms around the globe. If you have any questions about this video or have suggestions for future videos, please leave your comments under the video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated about future contents. I'll see you next time with more contents. Till then, take care and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.